Oh great, it's Bowser Buttface. Or Chucklehead 1, I should say, because Chucklehead number 2 is Kami Kubo. Actually, no, I called her wrinkly cheeks and this Chucklehead. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Hmm. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster! You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. Hashtag Savage Peach. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. Sorry. That jerk Mario beat up the Koopa Brothers and Tut and Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps compared to me, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forget Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm gonna use Invincible Tubba Blubba on him. He is the strongest creature I know. After me, of course. You best forget Mario. That don't sound good. You're nasty nasty. Oh, we have a problem. Why, Kemi Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset. It seems that uh, Starsbeard has escaped the castle. Excuse me, what? The Star Spirit flew away from his castle? Uh, keep King Mouser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Yes, you're right. Tell me the details over there. Oh yes. Alright, more plans ruined for King Bowser himself. Sweet. Twink, did you hear that? Oh yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call Tubba Blah Blah thing invincible though? That didn't sound good. Seriously, do you think Mario can win? Well, We'd better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we could find something, anything, about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Hmm, good idea. Then there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Dang, like I said before, hashtag Savage Peach. <sighs> she is just a girl on a mission and she knows what she wants. She's fast, and though, and sharp as a tech. She's playing with her jewelry, and picking up the slack. I want a girl with a short skirt, and a long jacket. Sorry. Anyway, um, the dork you hear singing a very old song is, uh, me. Hey, I'm Silent Senior Zero Nine, and this is Let's Play Paper Mario. Last time we left off, we completed Chapter Two, beat Tut and Koopa. Is there anything to do in here, by the way? No, no diaries, no fan fictions. Okay, we water the vase. Nope, I guess the vase is just gonna have to accept its fate. It will eventually. Well, the vase. I mean, the flowers in the vase. Excuse me. There's still guards outside, so careful not to get caught. Don't worry. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 da da dun 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 da da dun 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 ba da do ba da do 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 dun dun da da dun 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 da da dun. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over here first. Look what we got, world! We got a deep focus badge. Charges star power, but it doesn't do us any good with holding it as Peach. So, uh, let's see if we can't do something with this. Oh. Look there, what a beautifully crafted treasure chest! Yes, do you like it? This mysterious treasure chest has been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. That's right, this chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and then take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah! Wow, that's really cool. So where is the other treasure chest anyway? Er, where is it? 
You know I rightly can't remember. <laughs> hmm. I do remember seeing one of another one of these. Good to know. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. That might be the place. So let's go ahead and shove this in there. Seeing as what she said possibly should ring true. If we put this deep focus in the chest, then maybe Mario can pick it up later. But for the time being, let's go ahead and proceed on. We're going to do it carefully, though. I'd go up the stairs, but uh, yeah, there's a guy up there heating the heel. He will catch you. If you walk in front of him, anyway. So, today we're going to go ahead and head to the library. There are guards here, too. Probably lots of them. We'd better be careful and quiet. Yep. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, we. this isn't the one. There's one where there's a guy that walks around in a circle. Yeah, this is that guy. You gotta be careful with him. Well, by careful, I mean you just have to make sure you don't walk out in front and then have him suddenly walk down and then spot you. Not like in a weight room where you're trying to lift weights and have him spot you there. I mean, he doesn't sightsee spot. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Power Rush badge. And I guess we gotta go back to that one room. Huh. Interesting. What do they call rooms in a household where... You have, like, a library and shelves of books. Not the dormitory, not the... Is it the study room? Yeah, I think the study room usually is the technical fancy name for it. I'm just thinking of, like, games like Clue and whatnot. They, they have, like... Or Lu the game Luigi's Mansion, how they have all those rooms and the names for rooms. Okay, walk past this guy. Alright, now let's uh, carefully walk up to this bookcase, conspicuously make it look like we're looking for a book, and then, yeah, there we go. Oh, hello, there's two... Oh, there's a life stream up there. I think we can't get that yet, though. Oh. Hey, you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghost, huh? Master Tubba Blubba. He lives deep inside of the Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. And I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why'd you tell me, man? I also heard that Master Tubba Blubba is invincible. It's that he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Lubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. They say there's another rumor. A Tubba lubba has got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Dude, what if Tubba Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up next! Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit! <laughs> Twink, it sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out! Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking to you? <gasps> Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? No! Oh, oh! Oh, whoa! Princess Peach! How'd you get here, man? Or woman? Uh, I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Hey! D wait, wait, no, don't! Aw. Oh, no! And we've been Koopa handled again. Well, at least we got information. Meanwhile, back where Mario is, we've rescued another star spirit. Thank you, Mario. Oh, my heaven. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamma. So nice to meet you in person, heart. You've still got a long way to go, honey, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you, or Here, let me help you. I accidentally pushed the button. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, our energy goes up for our star energy. We gain the ability Lullaby. 
With Lullaby, we can make all enemies fall asleep. So it's like we have a permanent sleepy sheep at our ma magic access. Call me in times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit after all. Heart. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. You keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the star spirits as soon as possible, honey. Well, for now, I'm going back to recovering Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is far far and without the star rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Heart. That is a pulsating heart. She meant a lot of love behind that one. Well, see you, Mamar. Or Mamar. Excuse me, I don't know how to pronounce that actually, apparently. Ooh, nice. Got a nice neon green color. Ooh. So, since we're done here in Dry Dry Desert, and Dry Dry Ruins, and Dry Dry Outpost, whew, we can finally get out of this dry, sand-filled place. So what do you say we do that? We're gonna go ahead and, uh, not... Actually, I should probably go ahead and get in a fight, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, I mean, first off, there's the fact that we got the hammer, and second off, I gotta show off this lullaby, so... Lullaby! Lull enemies to sleep. This may or may not work. We're gonna hopefully... I'm gonna cross my finger and hope it works. Alright, Memar, sing away. Oh, yeah! Holy crap, it is actually pretty effective here. Very nice. So yeah, with them being asleep, we won't have to worry about them causing us any more trouble. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and shell shot, and then uh, I'll meet you guys after I finish this fight up. And like that, that was a lullaby. So, let's go ahead and uh, head south toward the pathway, and then we're going to go ahead and head west. I, have to, I still have to stop and think about that. I'm like, geez, man, don't you know your compass rose? Clearly I don't, because I have to st I really have to stop myself and think, like, well, let's see, that way's north, so that means this way's gotta be that. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, hey Colorado, how you doing? Well, what's the luck? No clues uh, about the ruins. That is ill luck, I'm sorry, dude. I'm getting so frustrated, I might just have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. Hey, don't give up. I believe in you. Say? What? Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. Yeah, what about it? It looks like... It looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a clue to the dry dry ruins? Maybe? Mario, Mario old chum, I beg of you, could you please part with it? Hmm... I don't know, should we part ways with this, guys, or should we go ahead and, like, pass on this moment? You know what? No. I want the artifact. Hmm. Are you quite sure? Yep, I'm quite sure. You're not getting the artifact. Oh, bother. Well, I can't force you. I will just have to suffer. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> Hooray for being cruel. <laughs> No, but seriously, though, we actually do kind of want to give this to him. I just wanted to do that, because it was just such priceless dialogue. I didn't know that existed until I watched Masaya and Ella's Let's Play. Mario, if you could find it to have a change of heart, please give me that artifact. Oh, all right, fine. Here you go. Cheers, Mario! Smashing really, old boy! That was smashing! Soon now, the mysterious Dry Dry Ruins will rise from the sands and conceal them! Yeah, you're a little late on the draw there, buddy boy. We already found it, but anyway, you go ahead and just look around all to your heart's content. That's a brilliant archaeologist. I say it must be so. I suppose a thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate it. That was nice of him. You know a bit of the magic of the desert. Sure is a memory, old boy. Consider it cherished, my friend. Archaeology is about mystery. And you know, without mystery, life is very bland, hmm? Maybe you should write this stuff down, Mario. What am I, your scribe? I don't think so. Well, may our paths cross again some other day, Colorado, but in the meantime... Dun, 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 dun. We just gotta stop peace. We just gotta stop peace. We just gotta stop peace. 
I wonder what badges I'll buy. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Let's go and heal up here. I'm tempted to go ahead and take that badge off, but I'm also like, yeah. I don't really need to, to be honest. And by that badge, I mean the Flower Point Plus badge. Because I don't like, I kind of don't like having those badges on all the time. Because then it messes with my, my, my decision making as far as like, oh, which stat should I level up? Well, I got plenty of this, and in reality, I have a badge that gives me gives me five plus of those. So I don't know. It's just it, it called me weird, but it's just I don't generally like to rely on the plus HP or the plus FP badges. So anywho, I kind of wanted to go ahead and get one other thing done actually before I go ahead and call it an episode because I realize this is quite a bit of stuff. I'm, including in here, but you know what? It's my Let's Play, and I can do whatever I want to it. And also, I kind of want to go ahead and get us off this mountain, get us out of this dusty area, because we spent plenty enough time climbing up mountains, going through deserts. I think y'all can probably do for a new change of scenery. In order, in order for me to grant you that, I kind of have to finish up out in the mountain here, so let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to go ahead and Progress onward, and there's one other thing now that we have the stone hammer, or the gray hammer, whatever you... I think it's called the stone hammer. Um, with this, we can smash this block here, and we can go ahead and pick up... A super block! Woo! Alright, so now we can upgrade another party member. I do believe we will be upgrading... Believe it or not, I'm gonna go with Goomba Rio, Because he gets a really cool ability called Charge, because of it. I didn't even go over para carries upgrade either, which is kind of bad at me, but I reckon I'll get around to that. So let's go ahead and upgrade Goomba Rio. And then, as sad as it is for me to admit it, I think this is probably going to be where I call out an episode because, um, well, we've done a lot of, like, we've done some Peach stuff, we've done some demonstrating of Mammar's ability, we, g we gave Colorado the artifact, and we made our trek all the way out over Mount Rugged, through the dry, dry desert, up to the train station. Next time we meet, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and take the train back to Toad Town, and then we're going to continue by doing some, what I call, backtracking after chap or post-chapter stuff. Now that we have the stone block, plus Paracary in tow, we have the ability to access new areas, and there's also going to be more Koopa Koop favors, so we got a lot of stuff to do. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Love you bunches. Don't show slap, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody. No, oh, by the way, that toad's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and just set Mario here, and he's just going to chill out on the bench. Oh, yeah. <laughs>